Hello guys, how you not day this morning? I hope you had a beautiful night. Welcome back again. It's your boy Adam's link. So guys, uh, is Zakaba is back again. <laughs> so guys, before I jump right into that topic and discuss other crazy topic, I want you guys to please make sure you click on that subscribe button below, click on the bell notification so you can get updates on all our new content. And don't forget to like this video, comment on it, share it on our social media platform. And you can quickly follow me on uh, Instagram, Adam Slink Media, and on Twitter, Zebra Daily. So guys, I guess most of you are old enough to know the that name is Zakaba, that group is Zakaba. Nollywood have people acted a movie about that uh, that said group some couple of years ago. Uh is Zakaba then let me just explain it. Is Zakaba were like a group that came into Nigeria in Lagos then about let me say this like 15 years ago is Zakaba came into Nigeria and were like uh, terrorizing those criminals people ritualists uh thieves you no know, that was their main aim to cleanse the city of all those people and they were actually bloody then they were actually doing of kind of uh inhuman things but we were praising them then but at the end of the day i think the the federal government decided to drive them the federal government decided to drive them out of uh, lagos and they were in other state then and now and now uh we are hearing that uh Izakaba is now really very very functional in Benin in Edo State and uh they have been going around disciplining some youth youth that are dressing indecently according to them youth that are into criminal activities smoking and doing all kind of uh 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 things that are not in the way of uh the appearance don't support according to them and the video was shown of uh this is zakaba group cutting the hair of some uh young boys using them to lie on the ground and uh, so on and so forth just created that havoc and uh they have been rumored that uh, the oba of Benin in lagos were the one that deployed the zakaba to Benin city to crump cult clashes so the main reason why they are in Edo state now is that uh, to crumb uh, cult uh, clashes you know there have been a lot of uh, cultist uh, activities in Edo state mostly in all those university so and uh, you know in order to crop cultists you have to look you you have to just look out of uh, out to people who are carrying uh, some kind of ruggedity, you know, who look rugged, who are carrying this hairstyle. So uh, 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 automatically when you see that kind of person nowadays, we just feel like that person is in some kind of a cult or maybe it's rugged. So these are the criteria that Zakaba use to, to, uh, to calm the situation. I don't know what they are doing, honestly. I'm just quite confused about it. But the thing is that Izakaba is back and is fully functioning in Edo State, Bini City. According to information I have reading online currently, they say Oba of Bini was the one that deployed Izakaba to a Bini City to crop cultist clashes, cultist activities. Honestly, we have so many. I'm not saying that uh, the reason why they brought Zakaba was not good enough. It's not good enough because those clo those courts are really creating havoc in in Edo State. But we already know that whenever you give some people power, they will use they will misuse that power. And innocent people, innocent guys, guys who are walking on the road who like to carry some city hairstyle who are not even in court, they will also fall victims. So they will now be trying to tell us the way that we should be living. Like you cannot dress rugged, you must dress it decently. How do you define decent? So that's what I know some people will definitely fall victim. We have so many security in this country that we, we need the help of Isakaba. We really need them, honestly. We have uh, 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 insecurity in the northern part of Nigeria. They should be deployed there. 
to help us fight, join our soldiers, join our gallant soldiers and our gallant police people and all our uniform uh, people to help uh, bring peace to the north. If they are strong enough, if they know they are strong, let them go there. I have never seen. Uh, I've never seen a situation when, uh, where they, you know, <laughs> this country, any kick, anything can happen in this country. This country can never cease to amaze me. There's nothing that's going to come out in this country that will be like, ha, ah, this is new. How did this happen? No, anything can happen in Nigeria. Anything can happen in Nigeria. So, guys, I, I want you guys to comment below to tell me if you support this is Zach about 15. Do you support it? Do you like the way that uh, Oba Binav introduces Zach about to crop cultist activities? Do you like it? Do you want them to continue? I Me, mean, I want them to continue, but not in Edo State because Edo State don't have its own just same issue. They should go to the northern part of the country to go and to go and bring peace to that place. We need them more there than we need them in Edo State. That is just my own truth about this. Uh, that is just my own way of saying it. And meanwhile, guys, uh, Anthony Joshua there I uh, was uh, recently honored at the Commonwealth uh, activities by who, 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 that were organized by the Queen of England. And uh, one of the things that makes me happy is that Anthony Joshua had uh, to make references to a goosey soup and pardon them during a speech at the Commonwealth Service as the uh, West Minister. Obi. And uh, of course, you know, Anthony Joshua is in Nigeria first, later his second country is England. So. Let's listen to his speech. I kind of like his speech. With the Commonwealth and active ambassadors for the two cultures and countries we represent, it will enable enormous potential of the Commonwealth's 1.4 billion young people to transform our world for the better. In the same way boxing gave me the opportunity and framework to become Olympic champion, Commonwealth champion, and now into heavyweight champion of the world. But I ask myself, what does the Commonwealth really mean? The second part of that word is key for me. A united common future could create opportunities for our Commonwealth cousins, whether they're growing up in Nigeria, Australia, Bangladesh, or Jamaica, or right here in Britain. So, here's to fish and chips, and a goosey soup and poundy jam, to the UK and Nigeria, and to the children of the Commonwealth. Thank you very much for listening. Now, so guys, meanwhile, uh, I hope you guys are keeping yourself safe because uh, the Minister of Health has announced the second, uh, a second case of coronavirus in Nigeria. And honestly, when this announcement was made, one of the funny things I see that is really funny is that Nigeria is the way Nigeria are reacting to it. And many Nigerians say, oh, that this is just like another cash cow for minister that uh, you're just bringing out these numbers so many nigeria don't believe that there's coronavirus in this country honestly they don't believe it because they believe that uh the minister just the minister of health just making up this number just that the federal government will pump money into his ministry to crop or to fight what is not there and uh to fight what is not there and by fighting what is not there, the money is ending up in their private pocket. So that is how Nigeria are seeing this kind of this uh, corona stuff. They don't believe that it's in this country. And I don't blame them. Coming from Nigeria, knowing how politicians do their things, I don't blame them at all for trying to, for, for not believing that uh, coronavirus is not in this country but me like i've said i made video of me really i'm i'm i'm, I'm ready man i'm ready I, i'm like i bought a lot of sanitizers i don't know if that is god god is the one that protects first but you have to protect yourself i bought a lot of sanitizer a lot of face masks i have them ready but uh, i just hope that uh, this uh, set of Nigerians who believe that that coronavirus is not in Nigeria, I still hope that uh, is the truth anyway. But uh, the way that they are saying it, I don't think uh, it's lies. And uh, in CNN, 
the funny thing is that those white men don't believe that the Africa are giving true statistics about coronavirus outbreak in this uh, in, in Africa. So they believe there's more. I don't understand why. Do they want more to be in Nigeria, to be in Africa? But let's forget about that. I'm just going to end this video here. But before I end this video here, here is uh, a filmmaker, Uke, denied entry into National Assembly over a decent dressing. Look at this dress that this woman wore and uh, she was denied access into National Assembly. Do you think this dress is decent? Honestly. <coughs> Sorry. Do you think this dress is decent? I don't see nothing wrong with this dress anyway for me. But uh, according to the security personnel in National Assembly, they stopped this woman from entering inside. And honestly, National Assembly close to me here that I see every day, if you see the kind of girls that enter inside, inside that National Assembly and you see this kind of woman with this kind of dress, you will know that those people are extremely biased. Honestly, you know they are extremely biased. So guys, I'm going to end this video. You already know it's a boy again. Yeah, don't click me there. Make sure you click on that subscribe button below. Like this video, comment on it, share it on our social media platform. Follow me on Instagram. I don't click me there on Twitter. Daily. See you on my next video, guys. Bye.